What's up everyone? This is Armeya and welcome to another video of Animal Crossing New Horizon. And in this video, I'm gonna make a tutorial on how to make your very own custom design. But before anything else, let's hit the intro. Before anything else guys, I just hope that you will be able to get a ton of value in this tutorial and eventually I will be able to help you in creating your very own custom design. Because I know that I am not a pro in making custom design and how I see the things, uh, the custom design that I've made, it looks really decent compared to the other players out there who actually made a really beautiful design and comparing to mine is not that really great but it's okay. So uh, since I know some combination of colors to make it look nice, I hope I will be able to help you guys in combining those colors and to actually make a really really nice custom design especially if you know how to draw but having a hard time in combining colors i hope that in this video it will help you and i will be happy if i did help you so first things first what are the things that you have to consider before you start making your own custom design first of all you need at least a idea of what are what actually the design that you're gonna make are you gonna make a a path what sort is it a rocky path is it a dirt path or or something else or something for your farm you have you want to make your own farm you have to consider all of those but for me I have a, a tutorial on how to make a rock since I'm planning to actually make a, some sort of rocky path for my island and for the rest of my whole town because Nintendo Nintendo or the developer didn't actually give us a freedom to actually like to have more slot for our custom design so we, I have to be very careful what sort of path I'm gonna make and yes so let's get started guys so first things first what you have to know first is let's make that you wanted to make a rocky path like I have as well you need a base base color which is going to be the whole uh, whole color for your rock and then after that you will have to consider the shadow the shadow for the rock and the lighter shadow for the rock which i'm going to be show you how to make all of those and of course don't forget the light the lightning for the for the rock it it, it, it shouldn't be that too bright but enough to show that it has some because light gives life in in every creation that that you made of course it's not like you're making like some sort of black and white design it really depends but this is animal crossing everything is so colorful colorful so the design that you're gonna make it should be colorful as well to just mix things up with the world for your island so as you guys can see over here I've already made before a very big rock which actually I didn't like when I put it on the ground. Making custom design is like trial and error. Sometimes it's not the things how you see over here on the upper side, on the left upper side of your screen. It doesn't look really like that when you placed it on the ground and it sometimes it just looks really terrible. So you need to make like change it again and then after that see if it looks good on the ground and if you don't like it then just try to change again as you guys can see over here i use if you want like some sort of uh rock that is a bit of circle but you want to make like some sort of not a perfect cir circle because you won't see any perfect circle rock like 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 that so what happened is that I used this circle tool that you guys can see over here and I just placed it on the workspace where we are trying, where we are going to make our design. So I used those one and I also used the stamp to make a, a circle design. Then after that, what I'm going to do is actually deform the circle after I put some solid colors. So as you guys can see on the upper upper screen, you can see that I have the base color and I also have the lighter shadow. And on the right side uh, next to the that doesn't have any background, 
uh, I, I put the darkest uh, the darkest shadow over there and as you guys can see I'm trying to deform now the circle because it looks much more natural if this if the rock is not so circle and actually it looks much more nice if it has a bit of imperfection because that's how the nature is it ha it's not always perfect so even the rocks is not perfect either so we have to make it a bit deformed in such a way so it will look it, it will look much more better so I'm just gonna try to make it a bit faster because how I made over here it's kind of it's kind of slow and I think I've made this a uh, design for like 30 minutes or 40 minutes so I'm just gonna try to to make it a bit faster for you guys So this is the part where I actually plan to put first the shadow of the rock uh, beneath it. Uh, why? Because it is easier for you guys to see first. Uh, usually when I draw, I usually start first with the base color which you guys can see the lighter gray over here. I always put the base color before anything else. And then after that, I, I try to put the shadow after and then it will be the lighter shadow that will come next. And and after that I will go for the lighter which uh, the light for the the rock which is it shouldn't be that not too bright as I've said earlier so as you guys can see over here I am putting all the this dark shadow why because when you put it actually on the ground it looks really nice and it looks much more like a 3d uh, so this is the reason why i am putting this dark shadow it wouldn't look so 3d and it will look so plain uh, if i didn't put this shadow and over here on this uh, big rock over here i put a, a double layer for the dark shadow so it will look much more appealing when you placed it on the ground and uh, so yes guys I'm gonna try to um, putting again as well the the lighter shadow uh, next to the dark shadow because when you put a darker shadow beneath it uh, it needs to have like this some sort of sequence of shadow one the first one is uh the very dark shadow which is uh at the lower part of the rock and then after that i put uh this uh lighter shadow next to the darker shadow so it gives a very nice touch for the design and also don't forget guys before you start to you make your own design make sure that you already place all this a uh, palette of your choice uh, so that when you actually making the design you don't get confused because I've done it before and it looks really horrible I, I get confused and I need to I don't know I ju it just feel like you are not prepared in making the design and after that you have to find the right palette for that because in order to make a very nice design you must have a prepared one so you just have to just grab it and then uh, put it over there put the colors over there and it's easier as well and it won't take all your time to to make this that's why i only made it for like 30 to 40 minutes but the first time that i made this design it took me like two hours because i wasn't prepared and I didn't prepare all the of the all the palettes that I am using, so I have to search for it on and on. So what sort of uh, color I need to put over there? <coughs> uh, so yeah, so I'm I'm gonna try to uh, make it a little bit faster again because it's I'm kind of slow in making this, and I don't wanna take all your time, guys, to to just keep watching the same thing that I'm doing. So. Yeah, just observe how I do it or if not, just uh, put slow motion in YouTube. When you are trying to draw guys, it's not all the time like you have uh, something, in pre uh, something in prepare. Like for example, I made this rock, I just decided, okay, I want to make a rock path. So, But I don't know how it's going to turn out. I don't know how the rock will look like. I don't have a, a proper idea how the rock will look like if it's going to be like this as I want it to be. It just happened that that's, what, that's where my hands 
uh, guide me on how to draw it but of course if you don't have an idea how uh, just uh, it's okay to use a reference because actually I use reference here and I I've searched some other players uh, custom design and and then I just get some idea from it and and it, it it helps me a lot and I'm pretty sure uh, for those uh, you guys who's gonna plan on making your own custom design it will help you a lot guys because it will give you this idea it doesn't need to be it doesn't need to be like you copy the other player style it's not like that but if you get a little bit of inspiration from it that's totally fine as long as you don't like well this is animal crossing you cannot just simply like copy and uh the paper is beneath it if you know what i mean right so don't think a, a lot of you guys i'm pretty sure that you guys think that reference getting some reference is not okay because where is the uniqueness over it and you want to learn by your own you don't want to get any idea from someone no that's totally wrong uh for you to get better in uh in drawing or making a design you really need some inspiration like that and the best way to get some inspiration is actually to go outside and observe the nature how the nature is that is mostly the great artists get a lot of uh, inspiration from it's from the nature itself and that is most likely how you will learn and that is most likely how you will learn on how to draw so okay let's go back to subject guys as you guys can see over here i'm trying to redo some things in my in the rock path as you guys can see i just realized that it doesn't look good for the dark path to actually um goes uh like connected with the other rock so what i did is that i tried to um put a little bit i i put the darker shadow up a bit and now i'm trying to mix things up how it will turn out and i'm actually you uh, whenever you're making your custom design don't just look on the workspace where you're actually trying to to make the design but also look on both sides on on your left side the upper left uh of your screen and on the lower left of your screen how it looks like uh, so on the upper left of your screen that's where how it will turn out once you put it on the ground um, I'm not sure if it's really that specific because every time I it looks of I look over there on the upper left screen I really like the style but once I put it on the ground I'm kind of disappointed how it how it turns out so I have to remake again the design and just try my way to to make it look nice once I put it on the the ground so right now I'm trying to see how it will look turn out and I'm gonna show you guys in just a, a quick seconds I'm not sure where I'm planning to put that exactly oh it looks in the at Nate's house so let's try to see how it look like okay as you guys can see over here it looks a bit 3d but it needs a bit of touch over it like as I've said I remember when making this I tried to to hire a bit the contrast of the darker shadow so it will look turned nice when you look at it below it will look much more a 3d effect over it it's not that easy to make it because uh if you don't have the idea of how you make it, it you're gonna have a really hard time so i am hoping that uh this video actually helps you guys on how to make things okay with with your island with your custom design that you're planning to make so yes guys I'm just gonna try to make it a bit more faster for you guys when I'm trying to to make the design for the rock to make it look much more 3D. So I'll be back. And about this session guys, as you guys can see, I've made another uh, slot. This is only like a, like a sample and I wanna compare it with the old one, the original one that I've made. And I made, an, I made something I use another slot for it so I can see the difference over it. This is very important, especially if you still have a slot, uh, a space for your custom design. 
just to see how it turned out as you guys can see i kind of like the one from the from the right and also if you have someone with you like your friend your brother your mom your father whoever you're playing with uh you can just simply ask them which one is better because when i'm making this i'm actually asking vash uh, i'm asking him every single time if it, which one is better is it left or right so for me because sometimes your eyes kind of trick you because when you're making the the design it takes a lot of energy and your eyes get tired and sometimes you don't really realize what's good and what's not so yes make sure that if you have extra slot for your custom design just uh, make this one you can simply copy the original one and paste it on the other one so you can see and try to tweak it a bit the darker shadow or whatever color that you want to tweak for your design just to see how it turns out and on this part, I've noticed that, okay, I've managed to, to make the shadow of the rock. So what I've noticed, there's something lacking on it. Sometimes you have to just stop a bit and, and observe your design to see if uh, is there something else that you need to put. And because sometimes when you get really tired, you don't see all these things. So you have to just take of a second and just try to look at your design and see if something is lacking. So that's what I did. And I've noticed that I need something because rocks are not just like plain it needs uh, it has this uh, forms uh, on the body of the rock so it creates some edges over there in which as you guys can see over here i am putting a bit of a lighter shadow in the edges that i think that it needs it doesn't need to be perfect because all uh, anyway it's just a visual that uh it's the form that you need to to make to form it as a rock so it doesn't matter unless you really need like some sort of like realistic uh, rock that you're that you're making but this is animal crossing you can make anything and um, just to look nice for your island so yeah that's the good part of it um okay as you guys can see over here i'm making a lighter shadow or whatever you call it uh, a bit darker shadow on the edges of the rock that i think it will look nice uh so yes guys and this is how the rock it turns out as you guys can see over here all the dark shadow that i put beneath the rock uh, it doesn't need to put uh you don't have to put all the dark shadow around the rocks it should be only where the view is as you guys can see uh the view the perspective view of animal crossing is like this so uh where the perspective view is facing you have to put the dark shadow over there so they can see the the 3d effect of the of the rock and and also the cracks that i put on the rock it looks really nice and i'm actually happy about it and yes so this is um and on the other hand if you guys are um planning if you guys are planning to make a continuous rock because you're gonna make a, a path rock right you have uh to like copy paste you have to copy and paste it on a different slot of your custom path so in a way uh the advantages of it is that you get to save your own palette of the rock so before we get there as you guys can see i tried to to make a bit lesser the darker tone or the darker shadow of the rock i tweak it a bit so it will look nice so it doesn't look too sharp and it will mix perfectly with the color of of the world for my island and so you guys can see i've used a darker blue because usually darker blue it's much more it's much more smooth and it looks appealing in the eye and not like when you look at it uh, the shadow of it is like it just strike you back because uh when you use the darkest uh, black or the dark shadow or you use the black palette it looks really sharp so instead of that usually when i'm creating in every kind of uh, drawings that i have or design that i have i always use dark blue because it's smooth in the eye and it doesn't look sharp but do let me know guys what you prefer is it the one the original one that i've made or 
the newest one that I made in which I tweak it a bit and I use the dark blue color and that's it for this video guys thank you so much for sticking around with me and i really hope that you guys get a ton of value because i really put effort in making this tutorial and also quick notes that this tutorial that i've made with all this basic color and stuff uh, it's not only applied it's not applied only in animal crossing and making custom design but also it applies in everything because it's one of the rules or part of the rules of making your own art so i really hope that it helped you guys and if you know someone who needed help in creating a custom design or just simply knowing the basic and stuff like that uh just share this video it doesn't it doesn't hurt and it will also make me very happy so do let me know if i miss something out in this video and i will appreciate it a lot and let me know what you guys think about this tutorial so see you guys on the upcoming videos and if you have any suggestion leave it on the comment and if you get a ton of value from it hit the like button and if not it's okay you can hit the dislike button as well so thank you so much don't forget to subscribe and make sure to turn on the post notification so every time when we upload something you guys will be notified so stay safe everyone see ya